Hello everyone, this is Marcin and another episode of Camera Raw Siri. Today I'm going to continue with basic panel and I will be focused on the presence. So I'm going to talk about vibrance, saturation, texture, clarity and the haze. I'm going to start with vibrance and saturation because I consider them a little bit more important when it comes to processing your images. We will be using vibrance and saturation probably a little bit more often, especially when we'll be doing the raw conversion. So how does the vibrance work and how does the saturation work and how these compare? at the start. So both vibrance and saturation will be affecting the saturation values on of our image, but not only this, because sometimes when we move these sliders, it will also affect the luminosity values of the colors, and it might also affect the hue values of the colors. So let's start from increasing the saturation on this image and to see everything clearly I'm going to increase the saturation to 100. Let's press P to see um, before this increase and after. Uh, first thing we can see it's a big change around the yellows and oranges and what I also notice here big changes of the hue on these colors. So looking at this I can uh, say that when increasing the saturation, it will be having strong effect on yellows, oranges, and some of the greens as well. And I can see not a strong effect on the blue colors. So we can assume it has much stronger effect on the colors that are warm. The other change that I can see is a difference in luminosity values around these yellow colors. And also the third thing that I already mentioned, I can see that hue is also changing around the yellows, uh, oranges, and it gets this unnatural look. Uh, by decreasing this, we will be able to decrease the saturation completely equally from all of that color. So the differences appear when we will be increasing the saturation. For the skin tones, uh, probably that wouldn't work too well, especially uh, because of the strong effect that it has on the yellow colors and the effect that it has on the hues and luminosity values. So let's go back to zero. And now I'm going to move up this vibrant slider. And here's the difference and I can see uh, much of a natural effect. So what I see here, I see stronger effect on the blue color over here in compare to saturation. But we know that when we were using saturation, there was not much effect on the blue color itself. So it's hard to say that vibrance would have the strongest effect on the blue. And I can tell you that a vibrance increases the saturation quite equally on the colors that are not too saturated to start with, but it uh, is preserving quite well the oranges. In fact, it preserves oranges the most, and then reds and yellows as well. So that's why we don't see such a strong effect on the orange tones, so it works perfect for the skin tones, but we have very strong effect on the colder tones that are uh, blue colors. So it not exactly work in the opposition of the colors to saturation, um, but it just preserve these orange tones here, which work perfect for the skin tones. And when decreasing, it will have the same effect. So as you can see, it is preserving some of this uh, red tones and orange tones, I still can see some of the skin tones, but when it comes to the other colors of the image, uh, they get in uh, nearly uh, fully desaturated. So this is how these two compare. And for image like this, of course, I wouldn't like to work with the saturation too much to not affect maybe the skin tones and just yet. And if I want to give to the colors this extra punch, I would decide to go uh, with the vibrance a little bit more 
and maybe make the background a little bit more saturated, maybe make the sky a little bit more saturated. Uh, but of course, I never like to go to 100 uh, because it would give me maybe some unnatural results. So this is the basic difference between the saturation and vibrance. And the next thing I want to talk about is these three sliders, uh, texture, uh, clarity and the haze. So uh, I might be a little bit less specific on this, but I will be showing you the, on example, how it works when we are moving these sliders. So this is the easiest way how we could understand this. When it comes to texture, uh, by moving this, we will be affecting the very fine texture of the image. So when we can see skin texture, when we have some very fine hair, when moving this, we will be affecting this uh, very small uh, pixel. So as you can see, this very fine hair that we had here, they get increased. So it's perfect tool when we want to boost some of these very small details. And uh, what's important to notice here, it doesn't give you the halo effect because it doesn't get big range of the pixels, but a very small amount of the pixels. This is why we're able to increase the sharpness of this fine hair around the image of the eyelashes, uh, of the bottom eyelashes over here and some of the hair. So that would be the major difference between the texture and clarity. The texture affect this uh, very small details, as you can see. Even uh, looking at the code, I affected some of these uh, small details because uh, this code has uh, plenty of uh, very small details over here. And when decreasing, of course, the effect will be opposite. So we will be decreasing these uh, very fine uh, details when we want to smooth out the skin, maybe um, because we work uh, with some um, baby images. Uh, then it could probably work. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of uh, decreasing this sort of details, but that's how it works. So the effect is on very small details and it doesn't give you the halo effect uh, because it doesn't grab uh, this big range of the pixels. And uh, this is the difference with clarity because when looking at the clarity, uh, let's drag it up. As you can see uh, around the head straight away and the clarity give you some halo effect. And there is the difference with increasing the texture because when it comes to clarity, it's not only, actually you can see it doesn't affect the small details as much. It grabs the larger range of the pixels and increase the sharpness, but it also increase the contrast around the mid-tones range. So it won't affect the shadows as much and the highlights as much, but all of this mid-tone range will have increased of the contrast. So uh, not only the texture, but only the contrast in the mid-tone range. And this is uh, why it might give you some halo effect. So going up and going up we would be decreasing this contrast, which we can uh, see over here, uh, not uh, as deep of the shadows, but huge decrease around the shadows in the mid-tone area here. So this is how clarity works. Uh, my preference for working on the texture and anything like this would be, of course, the texture slider. I rather don't use clarity unless maybe boosting some landscape uh, images, looking for some really uh, some effect with high dynamic range and strong contrasts. And the last thing here, we have the haze uh, that won't have use on this image, but uh, the haze uh, might help us when we have some hazy image. So when we took the image in the fog and we cannot see much of the details, uh, the, this the haze slider might help us to get these details back so we can see uh, some areas. But um, there is downside of this and the downside is that when we increase the dehaze, so decrease the hazing, uh, of the image and trying to see more details, we will be also increasing uh, the contrast of the image and because of this affecting the saturation in quite a strong and natural way. When I move this, I see the effect on the contrast is strong uh, also around the mid-tone range. Uh, I can also see this uh, moving on the histogram on the top. So. Taking the haze down, we of course will be adding the haze and blending all 
of the shadows as you can see shadows get completely flattened out and what you can see when I increase the dehaze so removing the hazing on the image I'm making the shadows much darker over here which can be also seen on the histogram here and also the effect on the highlights is uh, not as strong but because of the darkening the shadows so much of course the contrast uh, increases especially in these uh, darker tones of the image. So this is how this sliders works. I hope this was helpful and for me my favorite uh, slider out of this would be of course vibrance why don't use uh, texture uh, just yet and because when it comes to the texture i prefer to use it at the very end i don't know yet if i need to increase the texture or not uh, first i would prefer to take care of the basics so uh, thank you for watching uh, next week another video on camera and in few days photoshop uh, tutorial on some other subject of course make sure uh, to check the links in the description, if, especially if you are interested in retouching, uh, visit my educational platform, uh, focusing on retouching. If you want to see my portfolio, also visit my portfolio, uh, my Instagram, uh, if you want to follow me. And for now, thank you for watching and see you very soon in the next tutorial.